Welcome to the tutorial on linear programming models for resource allocation models. A model which is used to calculate the optimal allocation or the for the limited resources to the competing products or activities under such assumption as certainty, linearity or for fixed technology and constant profits it is said to be a linear programming problem. So we will discuss about uh, some of the problems that have been used for resource allocation models. The first problem is like a company manufactures two product X and Y which require the following resources. The resources are the capacities of the machine like M1, M2 and M3. The available capacities are 50, 25 and 15 hours respectively in the planning period. Product X requires 1 hour of machine M2 and 1 hour of machine M3 and product Y requires 2 hours of machine M1, 2 hours of machine M2 and 1 hour of machine M3. The profit contribution of products X and Y are rupees 5 and rupees 4 respectively. As we discussed in the previous tutorials, like uh, this is the real time situation with some data. So what we have to do is we have to create a mathematical model for this. So let will start uh, with a mathematical model. So I will be selecting a pen to demonstrate this. So to start with this, we have to calculate what is the company manufactures. The keyword is manufactures or creates. So it creates two kind of product say X and Y and which requires the following resources like three machines like M1, M1, M2 and M3. So before writing into this a mathematical form we have to write like this. So we have to create like this X and Y are the two products manufactured by a company and uh, with the help of the resource M1, M2, M3. So we have to put that in the, the header like X, Y and for M1, M2, M3 we have to put as like a column. So the available capacities of each machines are given by 50, 25 and 15. So available you can write in the right hand side. So it will be 50, then 25, and 15. So we have specified the available capacities. Normally the available capacities will be represented in the right hand side or in some problems they will be giving like uh, maximum availability or for minimization they will give minimum availability and so many things. Now we can uh, create an equation like this a product X requires one hour of machine M2 and one hour of machine M3. So it requires one hour of machine M1 and one hour of machine M2 sorry M3 sorry one hour of machine M2 and one hour of machine M3 and the product Y requires two hour of machine M1 then two hour of machine M2 and one hour of machine M1. So when you write an equation you can write like this so this is uh, this value is not given so you can take 0 so 0x plus 2y with a constraint uh, type then 50 normally if if you get the problem like uh, profit normally we have to increase the profit so the problem is like a maximization problem so we can write max and for the maximization problem we have to put the constraint type as less than or equal to so we write like this less than or equal to less than or equal to and less than or equal to for minimization problem we have to use greater than or equal to so we can write the equation like this 0x plus 2y less than or equal to 50 1x plus 2y less than or equal to 25 then 1x plus 1y less than or equal to 15. Now what is this profit contribution of product x and y 
or 5 and z respectively so this profit anything you see is like a profit you can put it in z so the profit obtained for x is 5 so it will be like 5 and the profit obtained for y is 4 so we can write like this z is equal to 5x plus 4y so i will repeat it again so when you have a problem you have to first you have to see about uh, the manufacturers or you can see the uh, keyword like creates or produces if it is like uh, the keyword you have to put the product first like this x and y are the uh, products that the uh, company manufactures and to produce this product it uses three resources like m1 m2 m3 and uh, you can uh, go through this the problem like uh, the product x requires one hour of m2 and one hour of m3 so i can put one one here and the product y requires two hour of machine m1 and two hour of machine m2 and one hour of machine m1 m3 sorry so the profit is to be maximized normally in every company the profit is to be maximized so the problem is maximization problem if it is like a maximization problem we have to use the constraint of type less than or equal to so you have to put uh, less than or equal to less than or equal to and less than or equal to and the profit contribution is given by 5x plus 4y because it is given like 5 plus 4y so the solution is this you have to write like this uh, objective function is z is equal to 5x plus 4y for machine m1 0x plus 2y less than or equal to 50 for machine 2 1x plus 2y less than or equal to 25 for machine 3 1x plus 1y less than or equal to 50 and we have to write another thing called non-negativity constraint like uh, x comma y strictly greater than or equal to 0 so we will see another problem uh, Taylor has the following material so and so so he has like 16 square meters of cotton 11 square meters of silk and 15 square meters of wool he can make out of two products so now this is the keyword make out of through two products out of three materials so they namely as uh, they named it as dress and suit so we can write like this dress is one product and suit is another product and the dress requires like uh, uh, two square meter of cotton one square meter of silk and one square meter of wool so the resources are cotton let's say c for cotton s for silk and w is for wool so now we can go to the other constraints and uh, the profit is given like 30 and 50 so it is that will be 30 and 50 so we can formulate the problem like this so first you put uh, in a tabular form dress suit material and uh, the cotton silk and wool so we got we got like this 2 1 16 1 2 11 1 3 50 so the objective function is z is equal to 30x plus 50y subject to 2x plus 1y less than or equal to 16 the problem is maximization problem so 1x plus 2y less than or equal to 11 1x plus 3y less than or equal to 15 where x comma y strictly greater than or equal to 0 and we will see another problem called product allocation problem a film produces three products namely product 1, product 2, product 3 it is given in the tabular form itself so we can easily represent that in a mathematical model so the time requires for manufacture is also given uh, machine capacity uh, minutes per day so we can create like this 2x plus 3y plus 2z less than or equal to 440 4x plus 0y plus 3z less than or equal to 470 2x plus 5y less than or equal to 450 and the objective or uh, the objective function is like this because they have got the profit per unit is for product 1 it is 4 product 2 it is 3 and product 3 it is 6 so we can write 